lady from Angkor. International affair. Milady. Hi, today I want to look at the linking of a legacy YouTube account to a Google account in 2015. And a legacy YouTube account is any legacy, uh, any YouTube account that was created prior to May 2009 and not linked to a Google account, which also means it couldn't possibly have been used since the 11th of January 2011 because on that day it became mandatory. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sign into the Google account that we want to link to. And I've got a Gmail with the right name, which I quite fancy. And then I'm going to, on the Gaia link, which I'm going to give you the link down uh, below for that, um, you're going to enter the legacy username, that's actually the custom URL now, and the legacy password. Problems arise when you don't actually remember your legacy password, and for that there is actually the option to, to use I cannot access my account, or so you might think. I say also you might think because when you actually arrive at this particular page where you are shown the YouTube account recovery form, you're being asked to enter the email address that you usually sign in with and they'll help you recover your account. The question is what account? You can't enter an email address because you don't sign in with an email address. The whole point is that you used to prior to the 11th of January 2011, you used to sign in with a custom URL or a legacy username and the legacy password. So you can't be using this particular recovery system because you've never signed in with an email address because that's signing into a Google account. So what you're gonna to have to do at this point is sign out of the Google account that you're in and sign into a legacy email using Google account. And if you haven't yet made a Google account with your YouTube, your legacy YouTube account's legacy email, then create one now and then sign into YouTube with a legacy Google account. So we're gonna do that just now. I'm gonna sign back in to the Google account made with the legacy email of my legacy YouTube account. And arriving back at YouTube, I have a red banner which tells me that the system has found an, an unclaimed legacy YouTube account, which I can claim by clicking this. So this is me arriving at the same Gaia link, but via the Gmail that used to be the legacy email address for this legacy YouTube account. And I'm going to claim channel. Now, it's always uh, important that you read the information that you're being provided because here you're actually being shown the fact that the Google account you're linking to is going to actually have to create a Google Plus page for this YouTube channel that you're about to link. And note the terminology has changed. It used to be referred to as a legacy YouTube account, uh, predominantly by me because Google tends to get it um, slightly awry at times. And now it is, tr strictly speaking, only a YouTube channel. And that's because it is about to be linked fully to a Google account and therefore, quote, downgraded, unquote, to a Google account's product. And the only true account is actually your Google account. I'm going to add a space in here. Um, I can change the name to whatever I want, but ideally I want to keep it the same. And then I'm going to have to agree to the terms for the pages. Um, I urge you to read this information, click on the link if you need to, and then obviously just create a page. And there you have it, you have successfully claimed, i.e. linked the old legacy YouTube account Chapel Records to the Google account Chapel Records at gmail.com, well I have in, in my case. And if I now go to my YouTube account, it's now a YouTube channel and it's now sporting the default avatar for a Google Plus page, which of course I can upgrade, but otherwise nothing else much has changed. And that is how you link a legacy YouTube account to a Google account and claim it for that Google account. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.